For those who probably just switching on their TVs and seeing you in Japan, I'm guessing you're not there to visit Disneyland. Help us understand what brings you to town. Hey, hey it's great to be here, um, you know, on the program. And, and to be honest, I've been to Tokyo Disneyland with my daughter many times. I think we've been to Tokyo Disneyland more than I've been to Hong Kong Disneyland. Um, I've, look, I, I have a genuine love for, for Japan. I've been coming here for 35 years since I was five years old. And it's always been such a cool experience. It's a unique country with rich heritage. Um, and if we were lucky enough to build an integrated resort here, um, that would really be a dream come true. So we've set up our offices in, 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 in Japan, in both Tokyo and Osaka, and we have a full team working here. Um, and I come here very often to continue to work with them and continue to, to be part of the, you know, hopefully the opening up of the integrated resort process. Yeah, I mean, we were talking off air. Now, a few more things have to be worked out. Obviously, and among those things, things like you know, bidding out the licenses, things like location, for example. Uh, have you guys and the big players been part of that conversation with Japanese legislators? And you know, I'm just guessing, what has there been any clue what they're looking to open up in terms of location just yet? Well, the you know, this initiative has been 10 years plus in the making for us, so we have had a lot of dialogue with both the national government level and also the local prefecture levels. Um, and it's still a long road ahead, but we are very respectful to, to their process. Um, and we are, you know, patiently and continue to, to play along. But yeah, there are things that needs to be resolved beforehand. So the first um, law was passed, which was the IR promotion law. Um, the second law, which is the implementation law, is yet to be debated and, and, and passed. So I think even after that, um, I think then, you know, a lot of the bidding processes will be crystallized at that stage. So we anticipate the earliest, really, for, for, for the bidding process, and it will be the most competitive bidding process in history. Um, the earliest for that to start would be really maybe end of next year or middle of next year. Why is that? I mean, a lot of people got very excited on the prospect of, you know, when the idea of Japan legalizing casinos came to service, everyone got very encouraged by that news. Why do you think that is? I mean, what's different about Japan, say, from your other businesses in Macau and Manila? Well, I think Japan as a country, if you look at the, um, the population base, and I think it, most importantly for us, it's such an amazing country, it's so unique, but yet the current visitation from foreign visitors is only around you know, 22 million. Um, and in comparison, if you look at a very small place like Macau has over 30 million people, and even um, you know, a city state like Singapore has over 15 million. So the potential for visitation growth into, into Japan is enormous. And you know, the, and, and I feel that Japan is one of the most sophisticated countries and henceforth the visitors ultimately that will be attracted to Japan are going to be more affluent um, and, and really our type of customers. Melco focuses on um, luxury mass customers and I think that's the right type of customers to attract into a country like Japan.